welcome back to the channel. I want to first start this episode with giving you a little update on the whole incident that happened yesterday. First of all, I want to thank every single one of you who reached out. I cannot believe that so many people have had the same experience, um, whether it be yourselves, in a vehicle, out the vehicle, lost someone, a friend, a family member. It's incredible how much this actually happens um, on a daily basis. You guys really got me to thinking, um, uh, just even in the short hours this morning after the video went out, um, that the right thing to do was to call the authorities. So I've called the St. George Police Department this morning, told them all about the incident, reported it. I had pictures of, of her vehicle, the license plate, the color, the make, the model, and they gave me a call back and, and asked me to verify my, my story. And um, I, they said, you know, who, who was driving the vehicle? I said it was an elderly lady, probably in her mid 80s. And they said, yep, that's who's registered to the car. Um, so apparently they have a process for this and the process is she will be evaluated um, by driving for two hours with an instructor and then they will say whether she's competent to drive, keep her license or not. Now, the reason why I didn't do it straight away is because, well, there's a number of reasons. I was very emotional and also it was a very fragile looking elderly lady and I have always been brought up to respect my elders and I, I felt bad. I felt really, really bad. I didn't want to be a jerk. I didn't want to be that jerk. It calls, you know, calls the incident in to a lady who I don't know her situation. My brain started racking yesterday. She had um, a disabled sticker in her car I don't know if her partner's disabled, if she is the only person who can get around, do they have family, do they have friends who can help them? Um, but at the end of the day, if a kid had been where I was, the kid would have been underneath the car. That's where, that's, that's where kind of my mind went this morning and it's, it's just dangerous. So I wanna thank you guys all for, reaching out with your stories. I'm so sorry that so many of you have been through something similar. You guys have had it way worse with injuries and or deaths. But yeah, that's, that's kind of the update. That was yesterday. We're looking forward and we got some work to do to Nessie. We have a race to get to. So Chris is back. We're gonna get some work done this afternoon, just a couple of hours, I think. But let's see what we're thinking about doing today and what we have to get done. And we're back to work and guess who's back again? Howdy. Howdy, howdy. The goal for today, it's, it's kind of in the afternoon, so we wanna get some stuff done today in preparation to start the week. So you saw that we did uh, the upper and lower mounts last time we're gonna actually raise the jeep up we're gonna put it on our brand new big jack stands over there and we're gonna take those shocks and mounts off we're gonna clean the axle up where we had um kind of like a pretend shock kind of put in there tacked in there so that everything stayed where it was supposed to stay especially for the move between kevin to here and we're gonna sort the top mine site today. That should be the day. So enough chit chatting and let's get to work. So I guess we're, we're using the box of ESAB. Trying to measure and see and trace out to box these in right here. A little weird angles here, but we'll get it. <laughs> we caught the back end of that. He said, oh my gosh, this thing is so symmetrical. It hurts my guts. A lot of passion right there. First step is going to be there's a whole lot of like pointy material out here that we don't need. So everything here, get out of here. All of that doesn't exist. This guy looked something like Zeus. Zeus. Perfect. Inside is the whole thing's 
tacked together, but it needs to be finish welded inside, which means pulling the shocks out, yep. putting in our shock spacers. Yeah, and then just one weld at a time. Um, do these plug welds out here as well. Yep. It'll grind nice and flat. Essentially, we need to make this look a little more elegant. You know what we haven't done yet? What? Let's flex the front out. You since, want to... since we're gonna put the front end up on jack stands, yeah. let's pull the tires off and flex the front and just verify all of this before we put 10 feet of weld in here. Very true, time to get flexy. So I'm looking at it right now, we've, we've bumped it up and we have it on deck sense and I was like, okay, now that looks like ride height. This is the ride height. It looked very stocky, like a little English bulldog before, but this is ride height right here. Now she looks like the rock nest monster. Huh. Huh. Not too tall at all. I mean, it's shorter than Mr. Baker. Yeah, Mr. Maker, you're gonna have those jeans that you've not just taken out of the wash, you know what I mean? You gotta have like a day, day, we're in day jeans to swing that leg up into Mischief Maker. <laughs> just a reminder, we are running a track bar, obviously. We just don't have it at the moment. It's actually being sent out tomorrow by RPM steering and suspension. That's what we're running on the race car. People have been kind of concerned about that, but don't worry, it's coming. This is still two inches away from full extension. Ow. Still two inches. She gonna be good. That's a lot. That is a lot right there. Time to clean all this up. Yeah, hopefully for the last time. And then I'm heading on to the Jeep Life, the Jeep Life podcast. We have one and a half hours for today. I have a quick question before you start. Hit me. Do you have a helmet? Okay. Do you have your gloves? These aren't welding gloves, so we should probably get those. You probably should. Remember what happened last time? Yeah. You shocked yourself last time. I do remember that. All right, Walter actually just got to the shop. We've kind of switched places. I have to uh, do the podcast today. I'm going to be opening up the Jeep Life Podcast 2023 with the guys over there. Third year running, very humbled. I have left Nessie in the great hands of Walter and Chris. I'm going to leave the camera and Nessie and everything to the boys right now. I'm going to go and do this podcast. I'm going to head on back. That was an hour and a half of pure joy. That's what that was. 
having a wee combo with the Jeep Life podcast, which you should be able to see at some point today. If not today, then tomorrow. Um, I'll make sure to actually post the link in a post so you guys can check that out. But now it's time for the Maverick, picking up coffee and donuts for the guys, heading back to the shop, getting some work done. Okay, we have Nessie back down on the ground. She cannot be in here tomorrow. Why? You're just gonna have to check out tomorrow. But we got a lot done. We got exactly what we wanted done. We got the mounts done. We got her back down. We got the shocks back in. Yeah. So we're happy. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>